It's about 1 p.m. now. I slept in a little longer than usual today. And uh, then I spent the last few hours working with Chris and Skyping and catching up on work from Japan. With all this vlogging and sightseeing, I fell behind a little bit. We're gonna go eat. Apparently, some of Lech Wałęsa's favorite dishes are in this restaurant. Guys, this restaurant is amazing. It's so, like, gaudy. I don't even know what the right adjective to describe it is. It's amazing. It's so classy. So many boats. Boats. We got two of the course meals, the chef's recommended menu and uh, the favorites of Lech Wałęsa menu. I got herring with what looks like a tomato garlic salad. Mm. This is uh, the finest of caviar. Mm -hmm. Smoked salmon, a little bit of butter. We got a lot of Polish bread. This is the butter nut, right, guys? And that herring is on point. Lech Wałęsa approved. Uh, this is barszczyk. Z kuskami z mięsem, or no, uszka, uszka z mięsem. Mm -hmm. Nie, barszczyk z uszka, z uszkami z mięsem. Fuck, I can't polish today. And I got crayfish soup. Very light, it's reminiscent of like a Japanese soup. To jest gicz. See, lamb with browned cabbage, and these potatoes look so good. Żeberka, bigos. Kartoffel uh, smażone, and they look breaded. Are dobra. Mmm, mmm. I love lamb. Look at my fancy tree. Like Valencia's favorite vodka. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Baked apple with shimtoyas. It's shura vino. It's shura vino. Tenorage. Tenorage. Oh, that is spicy. Oh man. Wow, that's really spicy. Now you can say something about the vodka. It's so spicy. My balloons was seared in a frying pan with butter and spiritus and cognac. So it's got a very delicious taste and it's got a ton of fruits. It's really, really good. That was easily the most entertaining meal I've had that was also really, really good. Seems like in Japan you get one or the other, and this one was very fun to see everything get made and presented, and the guy dressed up really cool, and the food was delicious. And there's so much. <laughs> Six in the morning, slept up my friend's house again. So empty. Yesterday I signed up for a new gym. I'm signing up for a private, kind of exclusive-ish gym in Japan. It's like applying for a visa all over again. You have to have your residence card, you have to have your insurance, you have to have a bank account in Japan. It's super complicated and it still costs like $150 per month. Right now I'm looking for a swimming cap. This shop looks like they could have some. Such a big store and they don't have a swimming cap. I guess Kasia is gonna have to come from Poland to bring me one. They found a swimming cap in Don Quixote. You don't have to come to Japan especially for bringing me the swimming cap. I'm gonna go to a co-working space. I need to work. Whenever I'm at home lately and I need to work, I just fall asleep or I'm tempted to take a nap. This is a pretty cool street. There's the Disney building, the Kinokuniya bookstore, Muji, which is a house type of store, very cool. Parko, which is a department store, Apple store. Yeah, it's a cool place. If you're in Shibuya, drop by. Co-working spaces that are good for foreigners are not very common in Japan, and this is one of them. That train was supposed to be here in 2012 for the Euro Cup, but it's 2015 and it just got finished. This is what Polish countryside looks like. This is the way Polish people open beer. It's a bit dark in here, but we're driving through the Hell Peninsula 
and on my left there's the Baltic Sea. Uh, in the Gdańsk Bay, that's where the Nazis used to check uh, how fast their torpedoes went. Uh, by shooting it off at one point and then waiting at a point further off and seeing how long it took for it to get there. Oh, here's a story from A to Z. We're gonna go see the sea. And it's so dark. It's not picking up on anything. Oh, really? Yeah. No. But you can hear the you can hear the sea. And you can hear my beautiful voice. Shema go, she says we're not both ticket. You says me you rachet to sprawl. It looks like a Blair Witch project or something. Spooky. There's the evil Polish man who's going to sh <laughs> jump out of the bush. I like working in co-working spaces. It helps me focus when I see focused people all around. There's actually a telephone booth here and somebody's using it? Really? Oh, I see a Tokyo classic. This guy over there is famous for having this basket full of super lazy cats and he takes them over to Shibuya and people can take pictures and give money for the cat. So we're in Sapot now and we're gonna grab a drink. Sapot is the party city in Tri-City. This building's called the Cricket Home. The cocktail bar I'm at doesn't have a menu. You just tell them what you have a taste for and this is what I got. We got back to Gdańsk, we're hungry as fuck, so we're getting burgers. I got the hot bacon, which is jalapeno. Oh, this is really juicy. It has jalapeno and bacon on it. It was nice meeting you. Oh, bye. Have a good night. Mwah. Bye. Welcome to Gdańsk. <laughs> we're going to the strip club. Just kidding, that's a joke. They don't let you into strip clubs here as a female, and if they do, they make you pay more than guys. Not cool, Poland, not cool. Yep. 